Fruit fly is a really um, interesting little animal because it can live for different lengths of time depending on the season and what the weather's doing. And so in the warm months, a fruit fly can complete its whole life cycle, its whole life cycle from start to finish in less than a month. Um, but then it's, it's a really smart little mechanism, an evolutionary mechanism where in the winter time, it can last for several months and overwinter as an adult, slow down its metabolism and um, make that whole thing go a lot longer. And so it's a really tricky pest to manage in that sense because it's able to adapt to the conditions that the environment presents to it. Thanks Lucas, that's a really good question and there's a number of different things we can use to eradicate fruit fly. For starters, one of the things we do to make sure that we understand what's happening in the population is we, we hang a lot of traps. And in South Australia, there's over 7,500 traps like this. And inside each one is a, is a little uh, pad where we put um, uh, an attractant, which brings the fly in, and also a toxicant, so when it comes in, it dies. And our inspectors can check those traps so we can monitor what the population is doing. But there's also a number of things we put out in the field. We use an organic bait that we apply um, every week, twice weekly in some areas, to make sure that the flies can be attracted to it, they eat the bait and they die. But the really important thing to um, kill fruit flies is to break their life cycle. And so the way to do that is to make sure that any maggots or any um, eggs that they've laid in the fruit isn't allowed to get back in the ground. And so we make sure that we pick up fruit and we put it into our green waste bin and that way we can make sure we break the life cycle and the next generation isn't there to cause a, cause a problem for everyone. Thanks William. And look, fruit fly can't hurt people. They, they're not harmful to us, but they are really harmful to the crops that we like to eat and to our farmers who are producing millions and millions worth of produce that we all love to, love to eat. Um, so fruit fly can get into these crops that all of us um, like to eat, these healthy fruit crops. And, and if we don't do something to eradicate fruit fly, it can impact the availability of that fruit. And so while fruit fly can't hurt us, we need to make sure we eradicate them and control them in the areas where they are so that um, we don't have them in our fruit and we can eat nice clean green produce. So fruit flies are a really interesting little animal and as you can see there they produce millions and millions and millions of little babies if we let them and their life cycle sees the fruit fly, the adult fruit fly, lay their eggs in fruit and once those eggs are in there they hatch into larvae, little maggots and then those fruit fly will come out of the fruit and pupate in the soil, a little bit like a moth will go into a cocoon before it becomes an adult. And that completes its life cycle. So we try and break that life cycle. The eggs are really interesting too. So like a chicken egg, eggs are really amazing little things, a, a, a point of evolution that they've just made this way because they're really effective. And even though this isn't a fruit fly egg, it's a similar shape. And they're built that way because they've got a really large surface area. And eggs, believe it or not, breathe and the little baby fruit fly inside the egg needs to breathe. And by being that shape, um, they're able to maximise the ability to get the oxygen and the things they need inside the egg to keep on living. The fruit fly loves to um, put its eggs into fruit and that's how it completes its life cycle. The female fruit fly will come and sting the fruit and put its um, ovipositor, that's the part of the um, female fly's body that lays the eggs, into the fruit. And so what we ask people to do is to check their fruit and have a look and cut it open. And hopefully you can see really quickly that this is a good peach. There's no maggots in there or anything. But if people at home, if they cut their fruit up into little pieces, and if they see anything that looks like fruit fly, that's when we'd be worried. And we'd ask that you contact your local department to see if there's anything you should do if you do find larvae when you pick up and cut up your fruit.